these bad days, right, where you're just not feeling so great and you reach for your favorite junk food to kind of soothe your stress, but does it really provide relief or basically just empty calories? Our Chief Health Editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now. All right, what's the truth here? Can it really relieve our stress, Dr. Nandy? Hi, Joanne. Yeah, so you know, just like me, when you reach for your favorite comfort food after a tough day, we call this emotional eating. So unless you're scarfing down a tray of carrots and celery, which a lot of us are not, <laughs> no. it's not a good way to manage your negative emotions like stress, sadness, or anger. A pint of ice cream or a slice of cake can lift your mood, but it's only temporary and often followed by feelings of shame, guilt, and nausea. And we've all been, we've all been there. I know We I have am. been. I know for sure. So if you think this is kind of a problem, if stress eating is something you do often, talk about what you think and what we should do about it. Absolutely, Joanne. I think occasionally engaging in stress eating is not a big bad thing, not a big deal at all, but if you rely on food as a coping mechanism, you get stuck in an unhealthy eating cycle. You need to learn other ways to deal with stress. So my prescription for that, number one, take a moment to think and tune into your body. Is the hunger physical or emotional? Are you upset or is your stomach really rumbling and, and, and hungry. Also, when away from home, pack nutritious snacks like protein bars and fruits. Don't engage in unconscious eating. Be very mindful and take the mind to enjoy your food. Also, to help manage stress in your life, try what we do a lot is meditation, deep breathing or yoga, going for a walk and chatting with a friend. Also, great ways to relieve tension. And finally, accept the fact that life won't be perfect. You'll experience many difficult feelings. Look for other ways to reward, reward yourself beside uh, eating more food. You know, I know we, we all love food to varying degrees, but can it actually be addictive, doctor? I really think food can have addictive qualities for some people. Now, sugars and fats generate soothing effects because they release opioids in our brains, similar to the active ingredients in narcotics and also cocaine. For those people, you'll need to learn to tolerate difficult emotions and not turn to food. Talking to your doctor and seeking counseling can also help develop alternative methods to cope with emotional stress. Really important. Yeah, it really is because it's a big problem for a whole lot of people. Absolutely. Dr. Nandy, thanks so much. Carolyn. So right about that, when those White Castle burgers call my name, Joe.